What's up guys, this is Chris, AKA The Clever Guru. Today I wanna to talk about my top five extensions for Google Meet. Let's explore. So the first app uh, extension I'm gonna show you in Google Meet that I feel is a needed extension is an extension called Tactic. Okay, what this is, it allows the person presenting to get a transcript of your meeting. So it documents who has talked, it documents everything that has went on in that meeting. So this is a great tool for teachers uh, to use in case maybe there was an incident in your meeting that uh, you need to show somebody or you know, just to have um, that documentation on exactly what took place in your meeting. This extension provides that uh, information in terms of a uh, transcript. So tactic is my first choice for what you need in your Google Meets. Secondly, we're gonna look at meet attendance. Now I've already done a video on meet attendance, but I feel this is a great extension as it documents who has been in your live sessions and it can document multiple times within that session. So you can keep track with students in case they show up at eight o'clock for a session and you can track and see if they stay for your entire session by continuously tracking attendance. And from there, it'll provide some sort of documentation for you uh, to, to have on record. So meet attendance is my second one. And again, I've already made a video that is dedicated to this app only. The third one I wanna show you is called Google Meet Grid View. And I'm not gonna really get into this um, in terms of when I show you within the Google Meet. Um, but as you see in the picture, what it does is if you have a lot of participants in your meeting, it provides you with a grid view of everybody all at once. So you can look at everybody um, at the same time, instead of having spotlights or, or other t you know tiles and, and this, that, and the other, um, where this can fit all of your participants in one screen. So this is a neat, handy tool, um, and I feel that it, it is one of my top five. The fourth one is called Duelist. Now, Duelist is a extension that allows you to move your Google Meet to one side and if you're presenting, you can move the screen that you're presenting to another side of your monitor. So now you can monitor both uh, what's going on on the Google Meet, uh, for instance, in the chat room, as well as uh, control what you're presenting. So this can be done another way, um, <clears throat> but again, Duelist kind of does that job for you, so I feel that it is a pretty useful extension for the Google Meet platform. Finally is Web Paint. Web Paint is pretty neat in the fact that it allows you to uh, annotate screens that you're showing uh, on your Google Meet live session. So if I'm presenting a screen or if I'm presenting like a website or something, let's say I'm talking about uh, science and we're talking about NASA or space, I can go to the NASA website and annotate things on the website to kind of pinpoint exactly what I'm talking about you know, to my students. So this is a pretty useful tool. So now that we've seen um, what these extensions are, let's now go into a Google Meet session and show you how they operate. So now we have our, we're at our Google Meet, okay? Once I hit join now, we're gonna join into the Google Meet. It's gonna prop, give us the information about the Meet, okay? And now we can start utilizing these extensions. So the first extension we're gonna look at, as I said, was Tactic, all right? Once everything is installed, it puts, every, it puts the extension in the top right corner. And on the right side, it puts your little tactic toolbar, okay? Now, at the bottom, you see that the closed captions are on. And the reason for this is so the transcript can now go from the closed captions straight into the transcript. And then once everything is done, it will present a, produce a document for you that you can have as documentation of what transpired during your meeting. So as you see, my mic is off, but when I turn my mic on, this is a test of the tactic extension. You see that the closed caption comes on at the bottom, okay? 
And if I come over here to the tactic and click on it, you will see in a second that has now transcribed onto a transcript, okay? Now again, you see that it, it did misspell tactic, okay? It spelled it tactic, okay? Not the way the app spelled it or the extension spelled it. Um, and so, but again, it gives you who said uh, that piece and then what was said. So if a student said something, it would have their name listed and then what they said. And so again, this is great documentation for you to utilize and, and showing what took place either for review or in case an incident occurred in your Google Meet, you have this documentation now. So now in order to get this documentation, okay, you're gonna go up here to the top. I have mine put on auto save. So it's gonna auto save after about 20 seconds. Or you can export, uh, export the transcript as uh, one of these um, formats. I'm gonna choose Google Doc, okay? I'll hit save. All right, it does its thing. And now if I go over to my Google Drive, you're gonna see that it has created a tactic transcription, okay? I may have to reload, but it's gonna say, um, it's gonna provide that tactic uh, transcription folder. And I can now go in here, open it up, and now it's giving me a document showing the transcript. So again, there is your documentation for um, for everything that that you're able to do. Okay. So that is tactic. Now, the next one I want to show you is attendance. So again, attendance. I've already done a video on it prior, so I'm not going to get too in depth on it. But attendance again. Once you install it, it'll put the extension up here. And then once you add everything and allow everything in your Google Meet, it's gonna be here where it says people or show everyone. When you click on that, you're gonna see um, the little clipboard right here. And you wanna make sure these toggles are toggled on. And in order to take attendance, you simply come out of this area, okay? And then you'll go back. In. All you have to do is click on show everyone and it will automatically take your attendance and again if you need that documentation click on this clipboard okay and then it will take you to the documentation with a timestamp of that person that was in that meeting okay again this you see that there's timestamps uh that it's in uh 24 hours so it's going to say 1358 um so again subtract 12 and then you'll get the actual time uh, but down here at 8.20, you'll see uh, 13.33, so subtract 12, 133, and which it matches pretty much down here. So it gives you your attendance. You can have this as a running timesheet. Uh, it's up to you if you would like a new timesheet to be generated. When you come back up here into your uh, Google Meet, click the uh, plus that looks like it has a sheet behind it, and it will generate another sheet for you. And so that is the attendance piece. Next one was the grid view. Grid view is pretty self-explanatory. And again, it's hard for me to show in this instance because I'm the only one in this Google Meet. But basically, as you see in the picture, that's how your tiles are gonna be set up. So you're gonna be able to set, see everybody at one time. When I hover over this, I can now choose how I want to see things uh, in terms of you know, uh, how I wanna see my students. So that is grid view, okay? Next, we have Duelist. So Duelist, like I said, allows you to move, if you're presenting a screen, it allows you to move your Google Meet session to one side of your monitor and the screen that you're presenting to the other side. That way you can monitor both screens at one time. There are other ways of making this happen, but however, I feel Duelist uh, does it um, pretty uh, easily and it flows a whole lot better. Okay, so if I have, if this is my Google Meet screen and I want this to be on my left side and I start presenting, I can now choose uh, the size I want my Google Meet screen to be. Notice there are uh, two squares uh, all the way down on each side. This is telling you what side you want this window to go on. So for instance, five by five, if I choose this screen right here, it's gonna put it on the left side, whereas here it's gonna put it on the right side. So if I click on it, 
Again, it's gonna pull that Google Meet to the side and now I have whatever I'm presenting over here on this side. So that is Duelist. Finally is the Web Paint uh, extension. And so as I said, uh, it allows you to annotate on the screen uh, within your Google Meet. So if I come over here and go to NASA, like we were discussing, I can now get on the NASA website, all right? And from here, choose Web Paint, and it's gonna bring me a drop-down box. I can now choose either um, the text on it, or I can choose to write on it, choose an arrow, etc., and then choose the color I want that to be. So um, we're gonna use red, and from here, I'm now going to annotate this screen. You see that I've done a little bit right here. So I can sit there and annotate on the screen, okay? When I'm done with the annotation and I wanna save this for later, I can always take a picture. And if I take a picture, it's gonna bring up another tab that has those annotations built into it. And now I can save that, print it, or uh, save it to my Google Do uh, Drive for uh, further documentation, okay? Once everything is done with your annotations, Right here is a little broom, you can hit that, and it takes the annotations off, okay? So that is web paint. And again, I hope these uh, five extensions can help you within your next Google Meet section, uh, session in order to help things flow better and provide you with enough documentation that you can review for, for, uh, for future notice. I hope that this video was very beneficial to you and what I had to show you. I hope it makes you uh, better succeed and become more productive as an educator. Again, in the comments below, please share your thoughts about what I had to show you in the video. Also, if you have enjoyed the video, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe to the channel as it helps out what we're trying to do. This is Chris, aka The Clever Guru. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,